No matter where in the Bay you live, you're going to want to head to San Jose after seeing what Len Ramirez found there at a little taco truck with a big idea. Okay, so here we got the tortilla press. East San Jose native we'll Daniel Ortega never press. went to business school. We'll go ahead and press this bad boy up. In fact, he never even finished high school, which he regrets to this day. But he did have uh -huh. a desire to make it in his own way. Role models and his hardworking parents. One of the secret recipes that we got. And some big ideas of his own. I was thinking to myself, like, you know what? I gotta do something different. We just sprinkle this bad boy right here. So we call it the giant con sabor video taco. The most biggest giant video taco in the world. Hey, that's huge. It's a mega taco, the size of a large pizza folded in half. You want me to hold it for you? And people come from around the corner and around the west to give it a try. No one has done it. We have not seen it around. We started about five months ago, six months ago, and it's gone viral ever since. Three of our videos on social media has gone three million plus on the views. And we get people as far as Los Angeles to come all the way to San Jose to try it out. Not bad for a guy who dropped out in the 10th grade. My dad would say, hey, stick to school, go to school, graduate, go to college. I said, no, dad, I want to be like you. I want to have my own business. I, I want to be like you and my mom's. I want to be an entrepreneur. Daniel's parents were immigrants from Mexico who sold fruit out of a pickup on the side of the road. When Daniel was a teenager, he started his first business selling fruit cups at the flea market. Two years later, I had a little bit of money saved up. So I told myself, you know what, I'm going to buy a food truck. So I ended up buying a food truck in 2018. Um, it wasn't in the best shape, but I believed in myself and I fixed it up and it made it look nice. But the road to business success was twisty and bumpy in the early going. I'll tell you, when I first started my business, it was really slow. I'm talking about really slow, where I would only make $80 a day. And that wasn't even enough to, that was just for my employees. All that money, not even that, I had to come out of pocket to pay my employees. He now has three food trucks plus the fruit business and 30 employees. His original truck is still on the road and his menu is expanding. The Bidia Ramen, Asian and Mexican mix, all in one with jam-packed flavors. Ironically, his big break in business came when the pandemic hit. So then after that, I went to the streets and started selling and I didn't have to pay rent in the street at that time. So I was saving my money and saving my money and then the word started spreading, Con Sabor's open, we had big lines, people started coming, the community was supporting. Yeah. Let me shake your hand, brother. A little luck and big ideas seem to be Daniel's formula. You got some talent, brother. Yeah. Right Thank yes, you, brother. Sir. And so far, it's working. But his plans, like his tacos, are supersized. And at 34 years old, Daniel says he's really just beginning. Well, Daniel's father, Jose Luis Ortega, passed away in 2019. He did get to see his son start up his business, but sadly did not live to see the success right that it is today. Uh, I can see why.